We all know the internet can be a crazy place where anything can just go insanely viral in the snap of a finger. And that's what exactly happened with this meme, this Hawk 2 girl. She went completely viral from one interview. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you, you gotta give him that Hawk 2 and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get you. I think you got to uh, demonstrate. Hawk Toons. Spit no, like, on it. Spit on it. So that one interview, that one interaction for that uh, joke, I guess, that she says it was, meant went insanely viral. She's obviously hundreds of millions of views across social media with just that meme. And honestly, anyone looks at that and thinks, wow, she's famous now, which... Sure, there's instances of this that are happening all the time. There's countless one-hit wonders from the internet that become memes that think that they have the next big thing, but they end up not being able to capitalize. There's people like Bevo who's that fall off is insane. I think like Backpack Kid was like a big thing in Fortnite. He's nowhere to be found now. The only exception to this rule, or not even rule, like person who's actually made it and made tons of money was Danielle Bergoli from Dr. Phil, catch me outside. That meme went insane, went viral. She capitalized on it, tried to do some music thing. That didn't work out. So maybe this is the next step for the Hawk 2 girl is launch some, probably a country song, right? But uh, I think that she's missing the boat to capitalize on this moment and making decisions that, you know, might not be the smartest thing in the world. She says it because she's a meme, she quit her job. I've been dropped out of school for like a year or two. Okay, so this was like- but your I don't quit my job. I said, peace. <laughs> <laughs> so now is like, you're gonna go to LA, you're gonna go to New York. Oh yeah. Do you think you see yourself like starting your own type of like show or podcast, or are you just gonna be like an internet personality? I think we're gonna do like a show and then we're just gonna be like on a bunch of podcasts and everything else in between. Cool. Yeah. So kind of just figuring out as you go. Oh yeah, there's more to come. Don't worry. There's oh, well, more yeah. to come. Like she has the whole team over. It's so right. crazy. It happened. The internet is insane. Your oh, life yeah. changed overnight. It really did. Yeah. For sure. So she ditched her job instantly when that clip started going a little bit of viral, said we're done here and moved on. Now the only thing I would say with that is if it's an easily like to get again job, right? If it's a job that you don't really have trouble finding and getting again, if you had to, if that worst case scenario happens and none of this pans out and you have to get a job again, if you're abandoning like a six figure job where that's not something you can just kind of walk into, I mean, that's a bigger step. But if it's a job that's like something that you could just go ahead and get another job somewhere else, similarly and similar pay and stuff, sure, why not? See if this thing takes off, but quitting your job because you become a viral meme does not seem like the smartest thing in the world for most people to do. And for her in, in this context right now, I think that she's kind of missing the boat on making money from this. I think there's a people, she talks about it, she has a response video she comes out with, and it's actually just insane that all of this merch stuff and people are like, oh, uh, there's, there's so much insane people just making up stories. Like people said she was a teacher uh, or a bartender and then she got fired from being a teacher. And she's in that interview said, she was never a teacher, never a bartender. She worked at a factory or something. Uh, so people are just making up things and everyone's running with it. And uh, people are saying that her dad owns like a, a merch thing and was making all this merch. And P she was making millions of dollars from it. But apparently that's not even true. And she hasn't even made a dime off of this meme yet. And I think it's already dying. You already see people responding on Twitter when this stuff's used saying, oh, this is so cringe now. It was funny before, not funny anymore. So the fall off starting happened. Memes do not have a long lifespan. Nothing on the internet really has a long lifespan. So I think she's overstepped or misplayed making money from this. And one of the biggest things that she could probably make tons of money on and I would, I don't doubt her at all for not wanting to do it, is OnlyFans. Being a degenerate is basically you could make tons of money. That's where Daniel Bergoli went down, made tons of money. Obviously, uh, if you don't want to do that completely, that is a normal thing not to want to do that, right? So that is, I think, as a good thing to not be just complete degenerate and just completely sell and do whatever is possible to make any money, but also that's probably the only path viable path if you're talking about strictly this here because you are just a meme so when the meme kind of runs its course 
if you haven't gotten people wanting to support you for your personality, then you've lost the platform and it's gone and you didn't capture that 15 minutes. Stop asking me for the link in bio for my OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans and there will never be an OnlyFans. I just, I just make funny jokes. That's all I do. <laughs> and number three, I'm tired of the imposters and all the fake accounts. I don't have any kind of social media just yet besides Snapchat, but when I have the rest of it, you guys will be the first to know when I launch it. And by the way, there's one more thing that's really pissing me off. Any of you selling or purchasing merchandise online, it's not from me. It's not approved by me and it's counterfeit and I'm not making a damn dime off of any of it. But I just hired a manager and I hired an attorney, so we're coming for you. So you can see, obviously, no plans of the OF, which makes complete sense, but, uh, also, talking about this merch thing, saying that she hasn't launched any merch and everything's counterfeit and she hasn't made a dime and that she's getting her attorney for what? Because someone sold Hawk 2 on a, on a hat? I don't get how that's not legal, right? You don't have the copyright to that or a trademark or something. Like, it's just two words that you happen to say. But just because you said them and went viral on a meme doesn't mean you own them now. It doesn't mean no one can sell anything. Other people did what you should have done. You're too late to the party. You got to go so much quicker. You have no social media and weren't pumping out this merch when this was going viral. That's a mistake. When it was the most viral, the next day, you should have launched all of your social medias, put everything out there and tried to launch whatever you wanted to launch because other people were going to do it because they could try and make money off of the situation. People are always going to try and do that. But also, you don't own it. Like, it's not a copyright thing. Someone can't sell stuff with the Apple logo on it because Apple owns that. Someone can't sell stuff with the Windows logo, with, uh, with Microsoft stuff on it, with Nintendo stuff on it, with all this IP because companies own that and can actually go out for them. You can't own just two random words you said in an interview. So I think that that's her biggest hiccup. I think everyone's saying that, oh, she's going to be a millionaire, going to be set for life because of this interview. I'm a little more skeptical. Uh, I don't think, I think she's missed the chance to make the bulk of the money, right? Because she didn't launch anything when it was at its peak. It's kind of tapering off now. She could still make some money from this, but uh, like how long is this going to last is the big question. And quitting your job because you become a meme, I don't think is the smartest thing in the world. I don't think there is some super longevity here unless you go down a degenerate route then you can probably you know spur some more things in motion but that route is an insane one right so her you know taking too long to launch is probably going to bite her in the butt and i just don't see this lasting so much longer you know you probably got like a few more weeks best case scenario of this still being relevant and people talking about it after that people will move on to the next thing. So hopefully she figures out. I mean, we'll see, right? We'll see if she comes the next big thing on the internet. It's possible. I just, I don't think so. That's gonna do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash the button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.